All right, hello, this is uh, Michael Stevenson, and uh, this is a quick tutorial for my Inner Circle and Successful Practice Secrets folks. Um, a big question that has been coming up, especially with the SPS program, uh, with last week's homework being to work on a group coaching funnel, uh, or a group coaching program, a big question that's been coming up is where do I archive, or how do I archive um, the MP3 files so that people can come back and listen to them later, similarly to how we do our um, Empower program. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do this in ClickFunnels because that is uh, my recommended program for building your marketing funnels and your websites and things of that nature. So uh, what I recommend is this. I recommend that you use an app that's called, or a program, that's called Amazon S3. Uh, S3 stands for Simple Storage Service. And a lot of people don't know this, but Amazon actually provides a lot of tech services um, for free for the first year and are really cheap for the years after that. So I'm going to show you how to get to it. The way to get to it is to go to aws.amazon.com. AWS stands for Amazon Web Services. They actually for, provide a ton of web services. You can you can get a database. Um, you can you can uh, uh, host video games through them. They've got all kinds of stuff for uh, different tech purposes. So what you want to do is you want to come to Amazon. Uh, AWS and you want to sign up for a free account just do that with your regular Amazon login uh, it's very simple once you've signed up for an account for the first year they're gonna give you their services for free and then after a year it, it is so cheap I, I can't even explain to you we run all of our webinars from Amazon uh, web services all of our, our pre-recorded webinars stream from there um, all, almost all of our downloads run from there. Even though I have my own website where I could host my files, I host them on Amazon because the Amazon servers are tuned for download speed. So oftentimes their servers run faster than my servers, most of the time. You can also configure it uh, so that your uh, files are mirrored all around the world. So when somebody comes to download your file, they download it from where the closest server is to them. There's all kinds of nifty things you can do with it. Uh, so I'm going to sign into the console. I'm going to click this button up here to sign in. I obviously already have an account. Um, by the way, even with all of our, um, even with all of our uh, webinars and everything else that we host on here, um, Amazon S3 only costs us like, uh, geez, I can't even think, like three dollars a month or two dollars a month or something like that. Um, it really is kind of crazy. Password. All right, now that we are here in the dashboard, you can see that there are tons and tons of services that Amazon provides here. Every one of these links here is a different service for something. They've got, they've got uh, uh, cloud computers, so you can actually have a computer in the cloud. They've got storage, they've got database services, migration, there's email servers in here, there's all kinds of stuff. The one that we're interested though is this one right here under storage called S3. So click on S3. And what that'll do is that'll take you into your S3 um, uh, a dashboard. And so you can see here I've got, um, I've got many buckets in here and a bucket is analogous to a folder in Windows, right? And so one of the first things you wanna do is you wanna, once you log in here, you wanna create a bucket for your coaching program. So we'll call this uh, coaching call, can't use a dash, coaching calls. They've got some rules on here. You can't use capital letters, for instance, lowercase letters. It can't be, um, it can't be a name that's already used. Like for example, I've got um, authority switch, right? If I type that in, it'll say it's already owned or it could be owned by somebody else, right? So you wanna make sure you pick a unique name. I'm gonna call this one coaching calls. Let's see. Looks like nobody owns the bucket coaching calls. <laughs> then you want to pick a region. Pick the region that is closest to where most of your customers are, right? In my case, I'm going to pick US West, which is a North California server. All right, and then I'm going to click Next. Okay, oh, bucket already exists. So we'll call this uh, SPS coaching calls. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to click Next. All right, now um, all of these features in here you can just keep as default and hit next yeah just keep hitting next I'll tell you which one you want to change when you upload an individual file and I'm gonna click create bucket now that's gonna create that folder for me so if I scroll down here now I see that I have a folder called SPS coaching calls if I click on it I open it up and it's empty right 
So now they're saying that I can upload a file. All right, now let's say that I've done um, a coaching call, I've recorded it, I have it saved as an MP3 file, then I'm gonna click this upload uh, button right here. I'm gonna click add files, and I'm gonna go on my desktop. I've got a, a file called Empower Program where I store my Empower calls, right? So I'm gonna double click on one of these MP3s. I'm gonna click Next. Now the one thing that you wanna change when you upload this is this setting right here, Manage Public Permissions. If you don't make this public, then other people won't be able to listen to it. So you wanna say Grant Public Read Access to this object, okay? Then you can just click Next, Next, and Upload. Uh, as you can see, it uploads very, very fast, right? These Amazon, uh, the Amazon S3 service is tuned for speed, um, even upload speed when you're uploading files. And so that is uh, almost an hour long MP3 and it's uploading very, very quickly. As soon as this is uploaded, we're gonna be able to, uh, to get the link from it and then with that link, we can send it out to anybody. So you can send the link out to your customers, you can um, use it to host the link on a ClickFunnels page, for example, which is what I'm about to show you. So if I click on this now, I can see right here the link. Okay, this is the download link or the access link to that file. And it's as simple as that. That's a free file host for the first 365 days, right? Which I think is pretty nifty. Now, I'm gonna go into my, my test funnel on ClickFunnels here. I'm gonna show you how I would uh, host these files for my clients. So I'm gonna click on add new step in order to add a new funnel. We'll call this uh, private coaching call archive. Uh, maybe I'll call the page calls archive. That's the name of the, the URL. Okay, now I'm gonna click submit. ClickFunnels is gonna build a page into my ClickFunnels uh, funnel for me. And then all I have to do now is pick a template. All right now ClickFunnels has all kinds of templates in here. These are all sales templates. Um, these are all opt-in templates. There's sales templates in here. If I wanted to click on this, I could see all the different sales templates. Um, I'm going to actually go under MISC, miscellaneous, and uh, there are a bunch of templates in here that uh, probably could be usable for something like this. A lot of these are, are web page looking templates, which I really like. So for example, there's traditional blog posts in here. Um, uh, let's see, I'm just kind of scanning through. I'm actually doing this off the cuff. I didn't pre-plan out this video, so I'm, <laughs> I'm doing exactly what you'll be doing. I'm looking through here, uh, looking for any kind of a, um, any kind of a template that looks like it would be a good fit. Something simple, something clean. Um, I may end up using one of these blog page temp. Well, how about this? How about the free white paper? This is a really simple template. It's got a nice white block in the middle. So I'm gonna select that template. It really doesn't matter what template you pick. And, and frankly, you could start with a blank template and build the page exactly the way you want it to be, if that's something you're interested in doing. Now I'm gonna click on the edit page to take me into the editor. And there's a lot of junk on this page, right? So I'm just gonna go through here and start deleting some of these uh, rows. Um, I'll delete, I'll, I'll delete some of these text boxes. We'll see how much is on this page here. Delete. Delete, this is all just junk we don't really need. I could delete this whole row, delete. Here's another row I can delete, just getting rid of stuff. This is the one thing I don't like about starting with um, a populated template like this. I usually like to start with a blank template and uh, kind of build it up the way that I like it, but um, let's just change the copyright here, transform destiny. Okay, now we have a pretty simple thing. So I'm gonna say in here, I'm gonna say empower program our uh, call oops archive put a nice little header on there listen to your empower call mp3s below all right um, delete this little text thing here and then uh, I'm gonna put a little headline in here I'm gonna click add a new element, put in a headline, and I will call this headline July 2018. Pretty simple, right? Oops. And then under July 2018, I'm gonna click the little orange plus to add a new element, and this is a new element that they've actually added in ClickFunnels, which is pretty nice. I used to have to do this with custom code, and uh, as soon as I find it, where is it? Oh, here we go. Under media, 
they've now added an audio player to ClickFunnels. So click on audio player, okay? Now I'm gonna click on the audio player to bring up the settings, and of course, all the audio player really needs is an audio file URL. What a coincidence. We happen to have one of those. <laughs> so I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna copy that link from Amazon S3. I'm gonna paste it into my audio player. Now, I do want controls, because I want people to fast forward, rewind, hit play, and pause. I don't want it to autoplay, so I'm gonna leave that where it is, and I don't want it to loop. So I'm gonna leave all three of these default, and then I'm gonna save the page. Okay, oh, it, it's reminding me that I haven't put a title on the page yet, so I'll call this Empower Call uh, Archive. Okay, I would wanna customize all the rest of those in the real world, but for now, I think that's good enough. Uh, I'm gonna save the page, and then I'm gonna click on Preview, and here we go, there is there is a call ready for you to uh, send out to your clients. Hakalau, enjoy.